Hi everyone, I'm Rachel. I'm a librarian at the Denver Public Library. I work at the Central Library and we're here for all ages story time. I'm so glad you could join me today. Thank you. We're gonna start by singing a hello song. So we're gonna get our hands ready to wave hello. This is the way we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is the way we wave hello, 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 hello. Let's do it one more time before we get into our story today. This is the way we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is the way we wave hello, 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 hello. Nice singing, everybody. I have for you today a book called A Big Moon Cake for Little Star. And this is by Grace Lynn. It's about a little girl named Little Star who makes a moon cake, which is big and round, just like the moon in the sky. And then she eats it and nibbles it until it's small, just like the moon in the sky starts out really big. Let's make our arms big like a big moon. Yeah. And then a little tiny and goes away, just like the moon in the sky. So let's see what happens. Oh, Grown-ups, this page, this book has words. It's not a wordless picture book, but Here's a page um, that has no words. So when you're reading wordless picture books or come across spreads like this that don't have any words, you can just take some time and talk with them, uh, talk with your child about them. So like on this page, there's so much to talk about. We won't get into all of it, but what do you see on this page? Yeah, there's a little star and her mom and they're working together to make, wow, look at that big, big moon cake. Looks like mom's sprinkling something onto it and little stars sprinkling something into the batter so they can make some more later. And they've got all their ingredients and tools and things sitting out with them. And look, who do you see there? Yeah, it's little star's bunny, little stuffed animal. All right, here's the title page. It says the title of the book, A Big Moon Cake for Little Star, and the author and illustrator, Grace Lynn. And look, what's the mom doing? Yeah, I think she's either putting the moon cake into the oven to bake or taking it out. And wow, it's such a big moon cake. It must be a huge oven. And there's a little star watching with her stuffed bunny. I bet it smells so good. Little Star's mama laid the big moon cake onto the night sky to cool. So she took it out of the oven and it's still hot, so you gotta let it cool. Cause if you start eating it right away, it will burn your tongue, ouch. Now, Little Star, mama says, your moon cake took us a long time to bake. So let's see if you can make it last a while. Can you remember not to touch this big moon cake until I tell you to? Yes, mama, little star said, nodding. What do you think? Is she really going to be able to wait? Oh, little star remembered as she brushed her teeth. She's brushing her teeth. She washed her face. She snuggled into bed and fell asleep. There she is, she got her little bunny with her. So she remembered she's supposed to wait. But in the middle of the night, little star woke up. You can see her eyes opening. She forgot everything her mama had said and only remembered the big moon cake. Let's make our arms big and round like the big moon cake up in the sky. There it is. What's she gonna go do? Is she gonna eat it all? Pat, pat, pat. Little star's soft feet tiptoed to the big moon cake. Would her mama notice 
if she took a tiny nibble? My little star didn't think so. Mmm. Yum. She just took a tiny little nibble. You can barely even see the little bite she took. But was someone coming? <gasps> little star flew back to bed. She doesn't want to get caught, does she? The next night, Little Star remembered the big mooncake again. That one bite had been so sweet and tasty. Was the cake still there? <laughs> yes, it was. There was that big mooncake, an almost perfect circle all alone and delicious in the sky. Let's make our arms big and round like that big round mooncake again. Would her mama notice if she took another tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. Yum! Little Star, she went and took a nibble and then she flew back to bed. And the next night, what do you think Little Star remembered? The big mooncake, of course. Would Mama notice if she took another tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. Yum. It's starting to get smaller because of all of her nibbling. And the night after that, what did Little Star do? Mm -hmm. Nibble, nibble. Yum. Night after night, Little Star took tiny nibble after tiny nibble of the big moon cake. It gets getting smaller and smaller and smaller until it's just a tiny little, little crescent, just like a little crescent moon in the sky. Until one night, Little Star's mama went to look for the big mooncake. Where was it? It was gone. That's right, it was in Little Star's tummy. Instead of a glowing round cake, there was just a trail of twinkling crumbs. And look, Little Star's bunny's there. Does Mama know what happened? Yeah, I think so. Little Star, her Mama said, shaking her head even though her mouth was curving. She's got a smile on her face. You ate the big mooncake again, didn't you? Little Star looked up, her grin reflecting her mama's smile. Yes, mama, Little Star said, nodding. Now let's go make another one. And there they are, once again making another moon cake. Big and round. Let's make our arms big and round one last time, like a big round moon cake. Yeah. Graceland said that she wrote this book because it came, it was inspired by some conversations she was having with her child around the Mid-Autumn Moon Festival, which she says is her favorite Asian holiday. And it just happened earlier this week. But she says that she hopes if you love this story, you can share it during the holiday or any night you wish to feel the feelings of quiet joy, love, and beauty, which are feelings that she associates with the Mid-Autumn Moon Festival. Let's give a big moon cake for Little Star a hand. Yay! That's such a sweet book. I like that one. It is full of joy and love and a quiet kind of beauty. Let's sing some songs now. We're going to do um, a very silly song about some baking tools that you might use, 
like a knife. We're gonna make our arms tall and skinny like a knife and a fork and a spatula, which is something that you use to scrape out the inside of a bowl. So we're gonna do that. And growing up, so when we do songs like this, where we move our body through space, we're working on our awareness, our body awareness in space, which kids need when they're learning to write. They need proprioception to get input, to figure out where their body is in space and tell how hard they're pressing on a pencil and try to stay balanced in a chair to write, things like that. So we are gonna work on our writing skills by singing this silly song. And it's a very silly song and I might mess up and that's okay because messing up is okay, right? Here we go, let's give it a try. I'm a knife, fork, spoon, spatula, cha-cha-cha. I'm a knife, fork, spoon, spatula, cha-cha-cha. I'm a knife, fork, spoon. I'm a knife, fork, spoon. I'm a knife, fork, spoon, spatula, cha-cha-cha. I think we got them all right. I got them all right, I think, that time. We're going to do it again faster, and we'll see how it goes. I get so confused with this song, but it's fun. Let's go. I'm a knife, fork, spoon, spatula, cha-cha-cha. I'm a knife, fork, spoon, spatula, cha-cha-cha. I'm a knife, fork, spoon. I'm a knife, fork, spoon. I'm a knife, fork, spoon, spatula, cha-cha-cha. <laughs> nice job, everyone. How did you do? It's tough, but it's fun. All right. We are going to do a flannel story about some rocket ships. We've got a rainbow of rocket ships, six of them. And what's this? That's right, it's a big round moon, just like the moon cake that little star ate. All right, here it is. All right, let's see, we've got one. Two, three, four, five, six rocket ships. And they're all gonna go to the moon. I have six little rocket ships headed for the moon. There goes the red one. Five, four, three, two, one, zoom. There it is, it landed on the moon. All right, we've got five left. I have five little rocket ships headed for the moon. There goes the, that's right, the orange one. Five, four, three, two, one, zoom. Right on the moon next to the red one. All right, we've got four left. I have four little rocket ships headed for the moon. There goes the yellow one. Five, four, three, two, one, zoom. There it is on the moon. All right, how many do we have left? Yeah, we've got three left. I have three little rocket ships headed for the moon. There goes the green one. That's right, there you go, now you can see it better. There goes the green one. Five, four, three, two, one, zoom. We've got two left. I have two little rocket ships headed for the moon. There goes the blue one. Five, four, three, two, one, zoom. The moon is getting crowded. Is there room for one more? Yeah, we can squeeze it in. There's one left. Can you see what color that is? It's kind of hard with the camera, but it's supposed to be purple. I have one little rocket ship 
headed for the moon. There goes the purple one. Five, four, three, two, one, zoom! They're all on the moon. No more rocket ships. They're all gone. All right, we're going to take that and put that down. And my friends, it is time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining me for story time today. We're going to sing our goodbye song, which is just like our hello song. This is the way we wave goodbye, wave goodbye, wave goodbye. This is the way we wave goodbye, 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 goodbye. Let's do it one more time with big arms, just like our big moon. This is the way we wave goodbye, wave goodbye, wave goodbye. This is the way we wave goodbye, 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 goodbye. Thanks again for joining me, and I will put a link to a big mooncake for a little star in the description. I hope to see you all soon. Bye!